This is part 140 of ASP.NET tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss creating a simple image gallery using ASP.NET and C Sharp. This is how we want our image gallery to look like. We want a file upload control and a button. Using these two controls, the end user will be able to upload an image. Once the user uploads an image, no matter what's the original size of the image, we want to scale it down to 100 pixels in width and 100 pixels in height and then add it to this panel control. And the images within this image gallery should be rendered as links, meaning the user should be able to click on an image. Once the user clicks on an image, we should redirect the user to another page where they can see the original image. And on that page, we need this button back to gallery. So when the user clicks on this button, we want to redirect the user back to the gallery. And the images that are used in this demo are available at this Microsoft link. I have downloaded a few of them to this specific folder. Alright, so let's flip to Visual Studio. So here I have a blank ASP.NET application. So first of all, let's add a data folder to this project. So this folder is going to store all the uploaded images. So let's call it data. And then I already have webform1.aspx. First of all, on this web form, we need a file upload control. And then we also need a button control. And then we need a panel control. Basically, you know, this dotted um, border that you have, it's a panel control. So we'll be adding our images to this panel control. Let's drag and drop a panel control as well. And then let's set the text on this button to upload. And then let's set properties to this panel control. Okay, first of all, we want to set the border style. We want to set it to dashed and we want to set border color to maybe blue. And then we want to set the width of this panel control to 440 pixels. All right, so once we click this upload button, that's when we want to upload um, the user image and then add it to this panel control. So let's double click on that to generate the event handler. All right, so to upload the image that the user has selected within the file upload control, first of all, let's check if there is a file within the file upload control. And how do we do that? If file upload one dot has file. So this property is going to return true or false. If it returns true, then we know the file upload control has got a file which we need to upload. So first of all, to upload the file, let's get the file name. So file name is equal to file upload one dot file name would give us the file name. And then what we need to do, we need to upload that file to this data folder. And to do that, again, we're going to use file upload one control dot it has got this posted file property which will be the file that the user has selected within the upload control so save that posted file so we are basically invoking save as so this method is going to save that posted file to whichever path we are going to specify here so we want to save that file to this data folder and how are we going to get hold of this data folder we're going to make use of server.map path function. We discussed about this function in the previous sessions of this video series, so please watch that video if you're new to this function. So where is that folder present? It's present within the root directory, so I'm going to use this syntax, tilde for slash data. So within the root directory, we have this data folder. So that's the folder to which I want to save the image. But what is the name of the image going to be? That is present in this variable. So let's pass that to this function. So these two lines of code should uh, upload the image to that data folder. Once the image is uploaded, what we need to do, we need to loop through the data folder and whatever images that we have, we need to add all those images to the panel control. Okay, so basically to loop you know, through a folder in .NET, we use the classes that are present in system.io namespace. So let's go ahead and include that namespace, system.io. And now, to loop through each file within a folder, let's use a for each loop. 
So for each string, let's call this variable as str file name in there's a class called directory class and this class has got this method get files which is going to return you know the file names that are available within that directory as a string array so we have to give the path of the directory again how are we going to get the path of the directory use server.map path function so basically this one line of code here is going to loop through each file within this data folder okay and then what we need to do we need to add the image to this panel control now we are not going to use image control instead we are going to Im use image button that's because if we use an image control it will only display the image it will not be clickable but our requirement here is we want to display a thumbnail within the image gallery but then that thumbnail should be clickable upon clicking that we want to redirect the user to another page where he can see the original image so that's the reason why we'll be using image button control instead of image control so and we have to add those image buttons dynamically to this panel control so let's go ahead and create an instance of image button and let's call it image button All right now for the image button to display an image we need to set image URL property but to get the image URL property we know that the images are present in this directory but we also need the name of the image within that so this variable has got the full path of the image but we don't want the full path we only need the file name so what we can do is we can use another class file info and let's call the variable as file info so if you give the full path of the file this class is going to return us the metadata of that file like the name of the file the size of the file the extension of the file etc so this variable has got the full path of the file we are going to pass that to this object and this file info will give us the name of the file so now let's go ahead and set image URL property of image button object so image URL equals tilde for slash data forward slash and how do we get the name of the file within that folder we can use this file info object dot name should give us the name of the image so within the root directory this data folder within that you know whatever file you have got return that file name and we are setting that as the image URL for the image button now the next thing is we want the width of the image button and height of the image button to be 100 pixels so we need to set the width and the height so let's go ahead and do that so image button dot width and if you look at this width property this expect the width to be set in units so I'm going to use this unit class and again this has got a static method pixel where you can specify the pixels um, in integer format so I want the width to be 100 pixels and similarly we want the height to be 100 pixels all right and the next important thing if you look at these images there's a space between each image that is added and then there is also the space between the border of this panel and within the image so to get that space or that padding we have to set a property so and how do we set the properties image button dot style dot add so we need to specify the style key and the value for that style so what's the style we want to set padding for the image button and how much you want the padding to be 5 pixels alright and the next important thing is our requirement when I click this image button you know obviously there should be an event handler associated with that image button and that event handler should be executed and within that event handler we are going to write the code to redirect to another page to display the image so basically we need to attach the event handler to the click event of this button control okay and keep in mind these buttons are dynamically added so we need to hook up the event handlers also dynamically so image button dot click 
So to the click event of the image button plus equals. So basically to the click event of this image button hook up this event handler. That's what we are telling here. Okay. So we will implement this function in just a bit. All right. So the next step is to actually add this image button to this panel control. Okay. And the ID of the panel control is panel one. So panel one dot controls dot add. We want to add the image button control. So let's pass that to this function. That's it. At this point, we should be able to upload an image, and then at the same time, we should be able to uh, add that image to the panel control. Let's actually run this and see if it works as expected. So obviously, this folder has got all the images. So at the moment, we don't have any images within the folder. That's why the panel control is displayed like this. So let's go ahead and select an image. And let's click Upload. Look at that. The image is added. And keep in mind, we also have hooked up an event handler. Now let's say we'll simply use response.write and see if this event handler is working as expected. So when I click that button, what I basically want to do is I want to write something um, onto the page. We will see if this event handler is getting executed at all. All right, let's save the changes. Let's build it. Let's reload this page. Let's click Upload. Let's actually upload another page, um, another file. So we got that as expected. Let me click this button. Look at that. The event handler is not executed. Let me click this Upload button. So the images are displayed. Now when I click this Image button, so obviously there is an event handler associated with that. So this is the event handler. So this event handler should be executed. And that should write this message onto the web page. But is it doing it? Look at this. When I click this button, so this is an image button. So obviously when we click this, the web form is posted back. But the event handler is not doing what it is supposed to do. Why is that? That is basically because keep in mind these controls are dynamically added. So obviously, when we click this Upload button, the controls are dynamically added. The event handlers are hooked up. But then when I click this button now, the web form is going to be posted back to the server. So this is a fresh request to the server. So at that point, it doesn't know about these dynamically created controls and the event handlers that are associated with that. So it's a brand new request. So it forgets all that. And that's why we have this blank page. So we have to fix this issue first. And to fix that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to extract this piece of code into its own method. So let me right click on that. And let's select refactor extract method. And let's call this upload image. So we have a function here, upload image. So what I'm going to do is notice that instead of invoking this upload image within the button control, I'm actually going to invoke that within the page load event. And then within the button control, after we upload the image to this data folder, I am simply re I'm simply going to redirect the user to the same page. And I'll tell you in a bit why we are going to do that. So let's redirect the user to the same page. Look at this. This is Web Form 1. So we are going to redirect the user to the same page, Web Form 1.aspx. And this is going to solve our problem. Okay. So basically, what's happening here? With this change, let's actually run this and see if this event handler gets fired. And then I'll explain why it works now. OK, so first of all, look at this. As soon as the web form loads, it checks the folder, whatever images it has got. It, it has added them to this um, panel control. Now look at this. When I click this image, look at that button click. When I click this image, the same message. So the event handlers are executed. That's basically because, look at this. When are these images added? These images are added within the page load event. So 
within the page life cycle in web forms so page load happens before the button click event so within the page load event we are adding image buttons associating the event handlers and then you know as part of the same request we are clicking the button control so that's why at this point it's able to re remember the image controls and and the event handlers that are hooked up to each image control okay that's why it's working now as expected let's actually make a simple change here instead of writing button clicked let's go ahead and do something dynamically here now look at this this image button click event handler this gets fired for each image that is there within the panel control so obviously when we click this image this event handler gets fired so here the sender parameter is nothing but the image button that has raised that event so we know that the sender here is actually an image button control so what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to typecast this sender to be of type image button because we know sender is of type image button and then image button has got a property image URL so I'm simply writing the image URL there so let's now run this and click on the image and see if we get the image URL or not look at that tilde for slash data that's the name of this image and when I click this that's the name of this image so all that is left right now is to redirect and display this image so instead of doing response dot write what I'm going to do is response dot redirect and let's run this okay so here we have the image let me click on that so I'm redirected to this image page look at that localhost web forms data folder and we are displaying the image on this web page but we don't want this we want a button control on another web form and then on that page we want to display the image and then once we click that button we want to redirect the user to the gallery so we want a button as well so instead of simply displaying the web form in the browser like this let's actually add another web page let's call it webform2.aspx and within this web form I want a button control and let's set the text on this button to something like back to gallery and obviously let's include a break here and then maybe another break and then an image control so this image is going to display the original image and then maybe we are, let's also include another button at the bottom but before we do that let's actually flip to the design mode let's double click this button control and actually let's make a copy of this button so we actually have you know a button on the top and the bottom okay now when we land on this web form what we need to do we need to display the image the original image within this image control right now first of all let's go back to webform one.aspx so instead of redirecting to the image URL what we are going to do is we are going to redirect to webform2.aspx and then we are going to associate a query string with this URL and let's call it maybe image URL so this query string is going to contain the path of the image so image URL equals the image URL and then on web form 2 when the web form 2 loads up what we are going to do we are going to harvest the image path from the query string and then display it within the image control so how are we going to get the query string value we can use request dot query string and we are going to get the query string value from the URL and what is the name of the query string its image URL
okay so that will give us the image URL so what we are going to do with that image URL we're going to set the image one controls image URL property to that value that's it we're done and then obviously um, actually it's not in the button click event we have to do that within the page load event within the button click event what we need to do we need to redirect the user back to the gallery page so response dot redirect to which page we want to redirect the user web form one dot aspx all right so let's build this and let's actually navigate to web form one dot aspx let's close all the other browsers okay let's upload another image so upload so we have a new image here let's select any of these images now look at that for some reason it doesn't work but we'll, uh, but we'll fix that in just a bit so we are saying redirect the user to web form 2.aspx and we are setting image URL equals whatever but there is a space there let's get rid of that space and it should work so when we are redirecting so let's get rid of that space So within web form 2, we're getting the image URL from the query string and setting the image URL property of the image. So let's run this once again. Let's actually go back to web form 1 page. Let's click on this. Look at that. It works as expected. And then you have this button back to gallery, which when you click, you should be back at this page. So let's upload a new file. Let's click that and look at that get the original image back to gallery and one more thing to notice look at that the first row is filled up so if I am going to add a new image that should be added to the second row and the height of the image gallery should be automatically expanded look at that I click that and we come to the original image alright that's it for today thank you for listening have a great day